Hi, I'm Penny Jones. I'm here with Jan Digger Gunnarsson, the Managing Director of Thor Data Center. Um, Thor Data Center is in Iceland. It's known for, um, it's a tier three facility co-location, and it's known for its use of renewable energy. Mm -hmm. Can you talk us through the project a little bit of what Thor is about? Yeah. Uh, our mission or goal with the project was to build the greenest data center in the world. And uh, to do that, you have to have uh, very, very energy efficient infrastructure, and you have to use renewable energy, which we have a lot of here in Iceland. Uh, the design is modular, so we start small and we scale out uh, as necessary as the customer come in. Uh, we have a industry industrial facility, which we are converting to a data center, and uh, the first customers are already in place. and. Uh, utilizing and benefiting from the green energy and, and the low PU we, we can actually provide. Mm -hmm. What size is your data center at the moment? It's about 28,000 square feet mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, 3.2 megawatts of power available. Yeah. And, and is that completely full or how? No, it's uh, one half full now. Okay. Yeah. Um, and how many clients do you actually have at Thor? We, uh, we have a number of customers uh, from uh, Scandinavia, Spain, uh, in the UK, but uh, the biggest one we have is Opera Software, mm -hmm. a Norwegian-based software company, actually number one in mobile browsing, and uh, we have uh, 20 million visitors coming to our sites every day, yeah. Opera customers. Um, and they've only just recently migrated over, haven't they? Uh, yeah, from Norway, yeah. Yeah. And they were actually, uh, well, fleeing from uh, the rise in electricity prices and uh, well the capacity in Norway was for example is, is not enough for the growth demand so mm -hmm. they wanted to migrate into a site that actually uh, could uh, well grow with them yep. and that's uh, actually what we can do with companies. How is Thor powered? Uh, what we use is uh, hydro uh, electric power and geothermal power. Mm -hmm. Uh, all the uh, energy production in Iceland is actually 100% green, so we don't burn anything. We just unfortunately, un unfortunately, we have to import oil for the fishing fleet, but we uh, and, and our cars. But uh, any uh, all industry and households have green energy. Yeah, do you see a lot of your clients are they are they coming to you for the um, green benefits, or is it more the cost savings that they can get? It's it's both. Yeah, well, there are many things. For, for example, uh, green for is is very important. People are afraid of the carbon tax, for example, that's being imposed here in in, in UK. Uh, they want to benefit from the savings that we can actually just by moving to Iceland, they can actually save uh, a lot of uh, carbon credits on, on that. And we are hearing num hearing numbers that uh, this will mean five to six, five to ten percent increase on the electricity for data centers. When it when it taxes imposed, so lots of customers are thinking about that. Uh, capacity is also a problem for many because they don't feel that they can actually grow in uh, in current environment and want to uh, go into uh, a data center where they can actually grow the business. And that's what yeah, well that's what we have. We have plenty of space and power. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, the uh, and of course because we are using uh, less energy than many data centers, we can actually give the customer a good deal on on batteries and, and power. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing an increased interest in Thor data center from the UK at all in recent time? Yeah. We, uh, this project we have been doing this for one and a half year now, and we went into operation in May this year. And uh, there was a lot of interest before we got into in, into operation, but uh, nobody's actually going to do a deal with like a data center that's, that's under construction. But after we have opened our business, and uh, we see a lot of growing, really growing demand from from UK. Mm -hmm. um, do you think the CRC is behind this as well? Do you expect UK businesses to be looking further at options such yeah. as Iceland? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we discussed the, the, the discussions we have with potential, potential customers in the UK. We, uh, we uh, this is a very hot topic. Mm -hmm. So I think this is one of the main reasons for for businesses to move away from 